Hey, Mike Moo here. If you subscribe to AT&T and you got some sort of broadband internet service from them, you probably didn't know, unless you've logged in recently, that you actually get a copy of McAfee's Internet Security Suite for free. Well, for free, meaning that you are a customer. So why should you get this? Because if you're using Windows 10, Windows Defender does not have as many features as what McAfee provides that you get for free with AT&T. So there's a special link that you go to. You can Google the same thing. You could just Google AT&T uh, Internet Security Suite. Just put that into Google and it'll give you to this particular link. I'll has, also have a link down below for this. When you get to the page, ideally you should be logged into your AT&T account. Now the ones that you can get uh, the Internet Security Suite free of charge are people who are AT&T internet or DSL customers if anybody's still on DSL. I of course am on, on fiber and uh, once you are able to log in um, you will be able to go ahead and download and they'll give you a security key. So you click on get it, log in with your AT&T account. I already did that and when you do it'll give you a few options to download. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Log in. It'll pop up a different page this is where it will have the information uh, about which security suite that you can go ahead and uh, download and access along with a key. So here it is, AT&T Internet Security Suite powered by McAfee. You can protect up the four computers at home as long as the system requirements are met. Uh, there is a Mac version and a Windows version. So you'll want to run this on whichever version it is that you want to go ahead and install on. So since I'm on a PC, and they also have two different languages there. So you, you have the uh, English and Spanish. So uh, there is basically, at least for my account, I have McAfee Antivirus Plus Elite Edition via AT&T. You go ahead and click on the download. It'll download a file. You'll open that up. you got to agree to the licensing agreement. Agree and download. And basically... Um, It'll give you your serial number that you're going to use to go ahead and install it. Now, keep that handy. You can you can double click on it and then copy it to your clipboard because you're going to need, need that later. All right. So down here, pretty much straightforward. I click that to open it up. It'll ask if you want to allow to make changes. You have no other choice but to accept it. Oh, something went wrong. Please restart your PC. Okay. So. If this pops up, it is specifically because you had just installed something earlier and you need to go ahead and reboot. So we're going to continue after the reboot. All right, continuing to install. Luckily, there was only one thing that needed to be removed. So now I'm going to go ahead and click the install. It's going to check again. It's going to make sure that things check out. You meet the minimum requirements. And it's going to check to see if there's any other software. Oh, man, the Bitdefender agent still here. Well, I'm going to have to manually remove this. Okay, I'm going to keep this for now. Okay, yes, keep it. And we can remove some. We can keep going. It shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, right. We'll see. Bitdefender agent might pop up and say, look, we have a conflict here. McAfee wants to do one thing. I want to do another thing. So I'm going to go ahead and have to remove Bitdefender agent. I'll do that separately. I'm just going to go ahead and continue with the ins installation. So usually before you start, you want to remove any other antivirus um, or any other firewalls. You can't have the two running at the same time in most cases, unless they do separate and different things. So I'll give you an example of that. Um, on top of this, I can have like a spyware remover and or I can also have a version of um, some software for malware bytes, which can help remove and protect you from other types of malware that McAfee probably is a little weak in. Weak in. So McAfee is a little bit weak in ransomware. So if you are really afraid of getting hit with ransomware, McAfee probably isn't going to be the best. You're probably going to want to supplement it with uh, some other software. Um, I would probably go with Malware Bytes. They have some specific protections available to protect you from, from that um, ransomware. And that's been hitting a lot of people. You've been getting, you get those from primarily from phishing email attacks that uh, come in your mailbox. 
So you'll also want to go ahead and um, subscribe to something like that separately. So that's where McAfee's so weak. Don't even talk about Windows Defender. That really doesn't do a great job against that from what I've seen. Okay, so that's one reason why you want to go ahead and pay for an antivirus is when you need protections against other things that you in your industry or you as your person or you as a surfer uh, tend to do right if you tend to do if you tend to do and search for more risky things on the internet or click links from people or download attachments from just you know without a care that's something that could happen so for instance um, Elderly, older people, your parents, your grandparents, right? You're going to want to protect them a lot more. It makes sense to go ahead and pay for better antivirus, internet protection, firewall, malware protection. Okay, so so that's it. So you'll notice that um, there's something called McAfee Web Advisor added. And I generally don't like, um, generally don't like Chrome extensions particularly ones like this. So I'm actually going to remove that from Chrome and then we'll just continue and finish with the installation. Okay. So that's done. It's, it's installed. Uh, it's going to say AT&T internet security, McAfee powered. Um, looks like I'm going to have to get, uh, you know what? I can skip all this. Let's go ahead and see what the, what it shows here though. I could skip all this. So, uh, getting my account info, all that matters to keep you safe. So basically, I think what this looks like is it's going to figure out whether or not you subscribed or not. And looks like I don't even need to put in my key because that's already embedded in the uh, in the download. Now, if you skip all this, I think it's just going to do it automatically for you anyway without showing you all this. I think this is just more of a to let you know what the different things are. And it's just an onboarding procedure. OK, so. Maybe don't skip this unless you're absolutely certain that your computer is fairly protected. Okay, ready to check out your protection? All right, let's go. Let's let's see what's going on here. So now it gives me a an up-to-date thing. I have 351 apps, web connections, and background processes. That does not surprise me. I have a lot of things going on on this computer. I can go and see the report. That's pretty cool. It's got scan for viruses, remove cookies and trackers, and speed up applications. Let's check out PC security. Okay, everything's on. PC performance. Uh, let's see. Well, stops annoying auto playing videos. Okay, that could be somewhat useful, but I'm not going to do that. You can permanently delete your sensitive info. That's good. One thing that I wish this had was a capability to go ahead and uh, do encryption in like a folder or something. Let's see what other settings we have. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and adjust certain things, so for instance, I'll give you I'll give you an example. Sometimes in the past, where when I'm running a software, it turns out the firewall blocks it because I'm downloading a new version or a beta version it doesn't even know about. But I'm sure that it's okay to run. Uh, sometimes I just have to disable things like the firewall and it looks like this is where you go to do it you can just click on turn off and see what happens so it'll ask you uh, whether or not you just need to turn it off 15 minutes 30 minutes 45 60 um, or whenever I start my PC and never you should probably never pick never you want the firewall to be um, on there but if you want to go ahead and specifically adjust certain connections for certain programs this is where you go and do it so for instance, there's an application, maybe I don't want iTunes to ever go out and access anything. I should be able to turn that right off or edit it, edit it and just change it whether or not it's it can talk to someone outside, whether it can do inside and outside, whether you just block it just completely. Uh, NetGuard, I guess it's just an additional protection to keep an eye on, on things. So see, this is this is the level of detail that you get um, when you get when you use a third-party uh, type of solution note I have 351 different things going on here and because I'm running a core i7 I'm probably not going to notice too much of a performance hit I remember back in the day we had um, really really uh, old computers that just couldn't handle it with the multi cores they were maybe only dual cores so um, you know you, you compromised uh, speed for more protection 
And in this case, with most modern computers, you're able to run all these and um, just be okay. All right. So that's it. That's that's how you go ahead and install your free or already paid for a McAfee um, antivirus version from uh, AT&T or let's say even if you just download pay for yourself. Um, so you might subscribe to some other internet service provider and they might give you some other antivirus or anti-malware protection also included. So be sure to check those out. All right, that's it for this little video. Please go to like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you next one. Thanks for watching.